In Indonesia, fruit twists are abundant, but these twists are still not being used properly, especially we live in boarding school which are located not far from food market and in boarding school itself also many rotten fruits are waste. Energy is a necessity for living. One of the main energy sources is crude oil derived from non-renewable fossil fuels. Currently, this fossil fuels is running low and will run out and alternative energy is needed to solve the problem of these dwindling fossil fuels. Exactly, alternative energy is a good solution for this problem. Therefore, we took the initiative to take advantage of the fruit waste app, which has not been utilized properly as bioethanol, which later can become a mixture of gasoline and can reduce the use of depleting fossil fuels. Third question. First, to know the effect of different temperature on the fermentation process from bioethanol production. Second, to know the percentage of yield in the fermentation and evaporation process. Third, to support the of free waste by reducing free waste. For to produce bioethanol as an alternative, green energy. Material use, fruit waste. Fruit waste consists of apple, pear, dragon fruit, melon, and watermelon. Fair weapon use, amino acid, aqua dish, and glucose. Next of procedure, bioethanol manufacturing process is divided into three, namely making inoculum, fruit fermentation, and evaporation. The first process is making inoculum. The inoculum consists of 1.5 grams yeast extract from the total volume of Erlenmeyer, 3 grams of glucose, 100 m, and 50 ml aqua dash, and 1.5 gram just uh, very fine. After that, the mixing process is called inoculation is carried out in laminar airflow. After that, it's mixed and converted with aluminum foil and placed in an incubator for 12 hours at the temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. The second process is fruit fermentation. First, cut fruit waste. Second, blending and sterilization for 15 minutes at with temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. Third, put fruit extract 3 liters and 100 milliliters at the temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. Four, add two percent inoculum. Five, fermentation for this anaerobic condition. The last process is evaporation. First, spreading ethanol fruit extract with rotary evaporator. Second, rotary evaporator temperature of 70 degrees Celsius and speed 90 RPM. Third, measuring ethanol with alcohol meter. The result that show that ethanol levels in fruit waste at temperature 27 degrees Celsius is 7.12% and at temperature 30 degrees Celsius is 5.34%. This shows that fermentation at temperature 27 degrees Celsius is more efficient than at temperature 30 degrees Celsius. In this study shows that the percent yield of fermentation at 27 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius is 16% and 50%. And the yield for evaporation at 27 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius is 40%. The fermentation yield calculation is obtained from the fermented solution that has been filtered divided by the volume of the fruit mixture before being filtered. While the evaporate yield is obtained from the volume of bioethanol from the evaporate product divided by the fermented solution. Conclusion The maximum yield of ethanol was obtained at temperature 27 degrees Celsius at 7.12%, while the percent yield of fermentation at temperature 27 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius is 6%. And 50%. And the percent yield of evaporation at temperature 27 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius is 40%. The process is cheaper and does not produce any toxic residues. This bioethanol production process can be used for small and large scale production because food waste can obtain food industries continuously in Indonesia.